Welcome to our project. What are we doing at this house? What is this mysterious project? It's an organelle. Analogy project. So, how does the outside compare to the cell wall? Well, I'm glad you asked. As you said, the outside wall compares to the cell wall because it protects the things inside, just like how the cell wall is there for support and protection to protect the organelles and different things on the inside, which would compare to the people and things on the inside of, of, the, of the house. It's a wall. What do we use walls for, huh? Safety, protection, it's just like a cell wall. Now, as we enter the house, you can see a gateway, a door, if you will. This uh, regulates what comes in and out, just like how the plasma membrane regulates the substances that come in and out. It's the only people with the key can go in and out of the door. Just, uh, and the only certain substances can go in and out of the plasma membrane. Now, let's go in. Now, as we step inside, you'll see these things, the inner walls of the house, just like how the cytoskeleton reinforces and organizes the cell, these reinforce the house, they keep it up, and they organize the house into different rooms, different places to be. And now for the energy. Ah, yes. Now look around, what do you see? Different lights, different electricity coming through, just like how the mitochondria uses sugar and fat, cellular respiration, to make the energy, the ATP that fuels everything. The electricity uses things like solar panels and the hydro, uh, hydroelectric you know, power plants to create the light that fuels the, the temperature. Every, all the, the kitchen appliances, all, like, uh, many things that are in this house, it uses to, to, freaking, to, to, to fuel everything in this house. And just like the chloroplast produces photosynthesis, the, the solar panels and the hydroelectric plants and the windmills, they produce energy, er, 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 not energy, but they produce things that are used in the other parts of the cell. Whoa, what is this? It's like a storage box just appeared here. It's almost like it stores, collects, and you can move it all around the house. You can transport it. it, it it's almost like you can collect waste and different materials that you need here, like what organelle? A vesicle. Vesicles store and contain and transport different things, just like like you need to transport different things inside storage bins. I'm clumsy. I'm sorry for that. And what are like bigger versions of the storage bins? The garage. No. 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 Why not? No. So I uh, I guess I have the the camera now. So um. So, 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 yeah, so, are we, I guess we're saying start on the rest of the, just the, the organelles. Uh, Let's get started. Why was he cut out? He was annoying. Well, we will start right on him. So, yeah. In the cell, there's a large storage area. It's called the vacuole. It stores different things like waste, debris, and food. In the cell, in the plant cell, my bad, there's a big one called the central vacuole. And this garage right here, it's exactly like it. This garage takes things and stores them, categorizing them and differentiating them by their function, just like a vacuole in a cell would do. Yes, sir. I'm ready. In a cell, the Golgi apparatus modifies and chips out proteins and lipids. This is like the kitchen, which prepares and cooks food ready to be shipped all the way to the dining room. So, in a cell, there are ribosomes. These ribosomes produce the proteins which help the cell function. In the house, there's a bed. This bed gives us sleep, and that recharges the humans. I guess you could say, produces the humans, which helps the house function. That's the nucleus. This basically is the centerpiece which helps the cell carry out all its functions. It gives directions, instructions, and makes the cell unique. In a house, there's the people, the humans, as you can see here, a very intellectual one. These humans are the ones that can carry out traditions and rules, the things that make the house unique. They're also the centerpiece to the house. No humans, no functioning house. That's how it works. And just outside the nucleus, you have the smooth endoplasmic reticulum. 
It has many functions. However, one of them is to break down waste and toxins to be ready to be taken out of the cell, shipped out using exocytosis. This resembles the trash bin in the house. This is where you store the trash can and the trash can itself prepares the trash to be taken out over here to the trash bin where it will be taken out of the house forever. Okay, so put a little more energy into this last one. No, I hate being energetic, Jonah. Anyway, gosh darn, man. In a cell, there's another part of the endoplasmic reticulum, the rough endoplasmic reticulum. This endoplasmic reticulum has ribosomes, and it modifies and finalizes proteins to be ready to be shipped out. It's exactly like the knife in the house. This knife cuts, finalizes, and prepares the food to be ready to be eaten. 